Hey guys, welcome back to MuscleMentor.net. I'm Brad Hall and this is Justin Harris. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, like blood work again, but mostly about SHBG. And so what happens is, guys, um, if you know a little bit of background, SHBG is sex hormone binding globulin. So uh, this, this is what determines what testosterone is available to be used immediately and what is bound. So especially for guys on, on cycles, you know, and there's been literature out there I guess you can find literature for anything, but there's been literature out there of people saying that <clears throat> the higher your testosterone dose goes, uh, after a while it actually starts decreasing SHBG. And if that were the truth, what you'd see is, you know, when people post their blood work online, what you'd see is that their free test is just through the roof. And I've only seen a few people this where this is true, one being, you know, uh, I think Meadows posted his, his blood work a while back and it was just, his free test is just insane and I'm super jealous. I'm green with jealous rage. Um, and, but, but normally what you'll see <clears throat> is that even though testosterone is nice and high, the free test isn't going to be, isn't going to be that high. And that's because SHBG, it rises along with your dose, uh, in, in most cases. And so what, what I want to talk about is, is, uh, using Proviron and I really like Proviron just in general. And it's one of those things that can lower SHBG insulin can do so as well. Um, but I, I really like Proviron. It's pretty mild. doesn't have <clears throat> a ton of deleterious effects. But using SHBG when coming off of a larger cycle, so especially if your testosterone is sky high for a while, and now you're planning on going down to, uh, to TRT or whatever it is, or you know, going from a gram or 1,200 or whatever people are doing down to 200 or 150 a test. So at this point in time, you're going to take your dose from here down to here. But your SHBG is based off of this number up here. And there's going to be a period of time where it's going to take in order to come back down in, uh, to match up with your new low dose here. Now this period of time, you're basically gonna have the world's crappiest free test, okay? So this is why people may have that feeling where they're just like, I feel like shit whenever I come from here to here. So kind of a, a newer thing <clears throat> that I've, I've been kind of experimenting with is using uh, using Proviron during that period to offset that. Okay, so using the Proviron to get your SHBG levels lower back down so you can actually have a m moderately okay free test level and not feel like such crap. And and two, you know, if, if you're one of those people who struggles with sex drive a little bit when that happens, this will, this will definitely uh, possibly help that out. You got anything? No, the only thing I'd add is there's, I mean, there's other things, uh, Provider is the best, but Winstrol will, will will help also. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't really recommend that. It's kind of one of the it's, harshest. It's tougher on the, on the lipids yeah. and things. Yeah.